and two all day passes to their indoor theme park. Every Friday we draw another name you have till noon the following Monday to email us or call us to claim your fabulous prize. Who's got one today? Charlie, Ashley, and I would like to wish this man, hold it. Yeah, you got to get there. Oh. Yeah, this oh, is. Oh, there he is. This is Tim Lindorf. We've worked with him for seven years on the morning show. and Don't and jump, Tim. Don't jump. <laughs> that will probably make him want to jump seven years. Let's be honest. Seven years with Charlie and Christine. <laughs> Ashley, thankfully, you're around to help even us out oh. and make Tim's day a little more enjoyable. Yeah, well, he, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. But he honestly does such a good job, so we're so thankful to have him here at NBC 15. No, and we all work such crazy hours mm -hmm. that we've become this fun, funky family, mm -hmm. you know. Anyway, happy birthday, Tim. Uh, Henry Cavill, 32 years old. He was in 2013's Man of Steel. He also played Charles Brandon, a close confidant to King Henry VIII in the highly successful The Tudors miniseries. And <laughs> ooh la la. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're blushing a little. I should be. Yeah. If you've seen it, you would be too. <laughs> I would highly <laughs> recommend renting it. You know, it's it's very it's a lot of fun. It's very funny. She was about to say no. Who was in a Game of Thrones? She played um, uh, Anne Boleyn, and she is amazing. Like, and she was also in the uh, next installment of the Hunger Games. Oh, I know who you're talking Natalie. about. Natalie, you are correct. Natalie. Um, yeah. She's a she's <sighs> a next queen in Game yes. of Thrones. Mm -hmm. She yes. married Joffrey. Ugh. But that is how well acted the Tudors is because they had such high quality actors in that too. Mm -hmm. Today's Sorry. National Hoagie we Day. Digress. Yes. We digress. Yes. <laughs> this is what happens. You guys need to put on some slippers and get a pack of smokes and watch that <laughs> from the sound of things. Uh, National Hoagie Day today. On this date in 1954, Roger Bannister became the first person to run the mile in under four minutes. Ooh. On this date in 2004, the series finale of the television sitcom Friends was aired on NBC. The finale attracted 52.46 million viewers, the fourth most watched television series finale in U.S. history. Natalie Dormer. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I will be probably the only one appreciating that. Thank you. <laughs> and the bring you down moment, we're going to do this one uh, through pictures. You'll know the bring you down moment as soon as you see it. 1937, oh, yeah. on this date, that is the Hindenburg. The Hindenburg disaster took place on this date. Uh, the, Hindenburg, er, the Hindenburg caught fire and was destroyed within one minute while attempting to dock at Lakehurst, New Jersey. 36 people were killed. You know, they were studying, you know, film clips taken by a passenger in there who had survived because there's some conspiracy theorists who think that it may be intentionally, it was brought down intentionally because it was hailed as this Nazi, this great Nazi mm. accomplishment. Mm. So You see that uh, steel structure that it apparently ran into? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like this steel structure. It does, I was just thinking that. Which opened on this date oh. in 1889. For your viewing pleasure, got to have something pleasurable. You mm -hmm. can't end on the Hindenburg. The Eiffel Tower officially opened to the public at the Universal Exposition in Paris. Mm -hmm. It was the entrance to that uh, exposition. Did you know that it was not intended to be a permanent structure? They were going to take that down after the uh, exposition, but they left it up. Gustav Eiffel, who designed it, decided, you know what? I'm going to build myself an apartment at the top of it. And he, has an, he had an apartment up at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Pretty doggone nice. Uh, but do you know why he uh, immediately or, or fairly soon left? No. Motion sickness. Uh, oh, that really? Yeah, it does move. The, top. Yep. the tower varies in height by about six inches due to temperature mm -hmm. changes. I don't know how long you lived there, but I remember that. When uh, Hitler moved into Paris, they cut the cables so you couldn't take the elevators up to the top. They figured if... Hitler's coming in. You're taking the stairs, buddy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, it is the most visited paint Way to monument. show him. Yeah. Yeah. Way to show him. They I showed, love the French. They showed him a couple of years <laughs> later, <laughs> believe me. Uh, it's the most visited paid monument in the world. Uh, approaching 300 million people have, uh, vi have wow. been in the in the Eiffel Tower. If you'd You've like been to go? Yeah, yeah, I've been, I can't remember how much I paid. It's been a few years now. I know how much it costs now. What is $17. it? $17. Are you kidding? That's really expensive. That's what it costs to go there. Wow, I didn't pay or, that much. if you're from Europe, it's 15 and a half euro. Euro. <laughs> Dollars get <laughs> yeah. euro. I will recommend it though, it was pretty cool, but. $17 though, that's, Lip. that's pricey. Yeah, to that. It's one of the most copied monuments in the world as well. There are like 30 of them. 
Yeah. One in Las Vegas. One of them in Las Vegas. Well, what monument isn't in Las Vegas? <laughs>